So the Melbourne response is set up by the Archbishop of Melbourne to deal with complaints made about people who are appointed by him. So that involves, uh, involves particularly parishes and ministries of the Archdiocese. Towards Healing covers all other dioceses and all uh, ministries carried out by religious orders. Uh, and so uh, a person would go to one or other of those and those two work very closely together. So if somebody comes to the independent commissioner with a complaint about something that, uh, that it falls under towards healing, then that would be referred very closely to the people who, who oversee towards healing. Towards Healing is a process that was set up by the Australian bishops and the leaders of religious institutes in Australia at the end of 1996 after a period of a number of years working towards this with interim protocols and it sets out procedures which have independent oversight assisting church authorities, that's bishops and leaders of religious institutes, to uh, respond to claims that are made and complaints that are made about abuse that has happened in areas that they're responsible for. Uh, so it sets out clear principles, uh, important principles which in fact are binding across all of Australia, both in the Melbourne response and in Towards Healing. Uh, principles like truth and honesty and justice, uh, placing the victim first. Uh, it, uh, it then has procedures for handling every part of the process and ensuring that there is independent oversight of the investigation uh, and, uh, and of responding to the victim's uh, needs. So one of the first things that happens when a victim uh, comes and makes a complaint is that there's uh, an assessment. They're asked what do they need immediately by way of assistance, by way of support and they're encouraged where an offender is still alive uh, if, they w if they would go to the police. They're encouraged to do that, they're offered assistance in doing that and uh, there have been many cases in which victims have taken that assistance and have then made a report to the police. The processes of Towards Healing are overseen by the state director in each state. So when a bishop, for example, receives a complaint, he immediately informs the state director the State Director appoints investigators from a panel of investigators uh, and they undertake that investigation and the result of that investigation is, is then presented to, to the Bishop in this case. Uh, there's a, a, an ongoing oversight of the process through State Advisory uh, groups and each bishop or religious leader is required to have a personal advisory group of independent experts who provide advice on, for instance, what, what action they should take in relation to someone while an investigation is being carried out and what action they should take in an ongoing way at the conclusion of, in, of an investigation. There's also completely independent review uh, and uh, procedures in place so that if a victim is not happy with the outcome of an investigation, they can appeal that uh, in, the, in the towards healing process. When an offender is identified in the towards healing process, then the responsibility is, as it always is, with the bishop or religious leader to ensure that they are not able to uh, commit that sort of abuse again, to ensure that there is no possibility of risk to anybody who might be vulnerable. Now that can happen in a variety of ways depending on the seriousness of the, uh, of the offence that they've, been, that they've been found to have committed uh, and it will be guided by the consultants, the group of consultants that each bishop or religious leader is required to have of experts who advise them. Uh, so at a minimum it ensures that that person is not in any sort of ministry where, uh, where there can be any risk to children, uh, but it would normally re re involve a complete withdrawal from ministry and in many cases laicisation or, uh, or removal from the religious order.